Y'all, I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Hey, y'all. So, look at my roots, chill. Look at my roots. You see, I'm like tired of this. So, you know, usually I do henna treatments and stuff, but since I've been washing my hair weekly, I really don't have patience for these long eight hour, nine hour henna treatments, deep conditioner, long wash day routines. I just don't have the patience for it. And it's just funny because when Natural85 was talking about in her last video and actually wanted to just dye over her hair, I was like, I'm thinking about doing that too. However, I was scared because I have henna in my hair and I heard that it would like, it, like, it doesn't go well Color, hair color doesn't go well over henna. So when she did her video, which came out today, I think, clearly it's not gonna come, this video isn't gonna come out the same day as that. that. Um, I was like, okay, well, let me see what I can do. So I checked the henna that I bought. I always buy Nupur henna, and um, it says it's 100% natural henna. And then all the other ingredients in it is natural. I went to the website. I checked everything. It doesn't say anything about the PPDs and the salt and all this stuff. Um, but what I'm going to do is do a test area and see how that goes. And then if everything's fine with that, then I will proceed with the rest of my hair. Y'all, I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Yeah, so if you guys didn't see her video, um, she bought this... Uh, color Olea. There's no ammonia in it. It's got all these oils and stuff in it. And um, so it went well over her hair. And so I'm willing to try and see if it goes well over mine. I use a different henna. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a guinea pig. Yeah, I'm scared, but we just gotta try it. Okay, we just gotta try it. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't. I can't, I just feel like I'm looking at my hair and it just looks a mess. <laughs> that one orangey tinty color and then the gray hairs. I'll be looking at my hair and I'm like something's in my hair and it's just the gray hairs. And so I'm not feeling that anymore. I'm ready to um just go black. So I didn't get the same color as her. I tried to find it but they didn't have it. I just got one black one. And I like how that looks. So I'm looking forward to shiny beautiful black hair. Let's see how it goes. So I started with a strand test. I picked this area because I thought it had the gray and the henna color in it. And if it goes green or something, I can at least just put my hair up in a bun and nobody will see it until the color came out. It actually changed color so quickly. I had to double and triple check that that was the spot that I had chosen and it looked pretty good it just looked like it was like normal so you know gave me the go-ahead actually I tried one more strand before I gave myself the go-ahead to do my whole head and there's a close-up with the strand test all those colors are gone and so I skipped ahead a little bit so you can see what I did section by section. But I started off um, parting my hair and, and just coloring all the roots because that's going to be the most difficult part of my grays. And then, I, like you see here, I just went through a section at a time, poured the color on, and just made sure to smooth it all the way through and cover it up. Obviously, you know the issues for some reason is more at the front and around the perimeter I don't know what that's about but that seems to be the way gray hair moves I also bought two bottles to make sure that I was able to do all of my hair and I used them both there was probably a little bit left in the second one but I'm so glad I got two uh, the Olea cost about eight or nine dollars per bottle and I'll make sure to put a link down below. So if you want to get some, you can real easily through Amazon. Ow. I let everything sit for a half hour, make sure everything was deposited well, and then conditioner washed it out. 
and at first I was a little bit you know concerned about how black I went it just seemed like such a contrast but I ended up being really happy with it it already looks shiny and pretty in this process so I think I made a great choice I'm back and I am super happy the color took really quickly I had no issues no green or any funky colors coming up and um as you can see, it just makes my hair look so healthy. Like, even if you look at my edges, like, it just looks fuller. So much fuller, like. My hair looks so pretty, and it does look extra shiny, and, um, I'm super happy with it. I just flat twisted it and then stretched it a bit with the blow dryer and um yeah i think it looks so cute so i'm super happy i did it i had been thinking about it a lot um listening to i'm be forgetting people's names yeah i've been thinking about it a lot listening to deeper than hair well watching deeper than hair's videos and all the color processes she's done on people covering grays and it looked good and it still fills in the spaces, the gaps in your hair strand. And so I was like, mm, maybe I'll think about it. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. And then when Natural did it, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready for this. <laughs> um, and I'm really happy. I think it looks so pretty. So pretty. All those hundred different colors that was up in the front of my head is gone. So, um, yeah. I think that's it. Gonna keep it quick and simple. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright.